Jeffrey Powers, Geekazine, Cine Gear, 2019, Dane, Kingston. You get the idea. We're here. We're talking about Dane's rig and, of course, uh, some of the some of the MVME memory that's mm -hmm. going to be in here as well from Kingston. We're going to do that next on Geekazine. This video is brought to you by Kingston Technology, makers of solutions that accelerate production in the film industry. So, Dane. Good to see you again from uh, from NAB. NAB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a long a, road. A very long road. We had a nice little conversation about your setup, nice. yeah. and but we get to see more of your stuff, and that's going to be really cool here at Cinegear. But right now, uh, you got something on, in your hands. What do you what do you got there? So what we got here is actually the new uh, Kingston DC 1000M, which is the 3.8 version, and then we also have the new. 7.68 terabyte, which if you don't have eight terabytes of NVMe, uh, you, you're just not playing with the big boys at this point. And then what we've done is we worked uh, a little bit with OWC here to craft a nice little sled for the U.2 into one of their chassis. Uh, so Kingston, the, they've designed this amazing 3.8 terabyte NVMe, which is getting somewhere around three gigs a second of write speed, three and a half gigs actually total. Wow. Uh, with, and read, the read is three and a half as well. It's super fast, uh, PCIe. I mean, it's got these built-in capacitors so you don't lose your data. Oh, okay. You know, it's almost like having your own little battery backup yeah, inside of a drive, yeah. which you lose power for whatever reason, battery dies. You don't lose any of the data. You can't corrupt it. This, this P fail, we call it P fail as in power failure uh, resistant uh, system. And you're able to take this, put it inside of the chassis. And then as, as you fill this up, like say you're on a 4K production, you're just doing on a cinema, you got tons of cameras and you're just filling them up like hotcakes. Instead of pulling it out of the chassis, putting it, all, pulling it out of your computer, you can actually just put it in this little chassis. And Kingston really did a great job to kind of design this um, to fit into that okay. really well. So uh, the big thing here is just, you're looking at 12 to 15 hours worth of savings on a typical production, if you're shooting 4K, it's just about productivity. Okay. Right? How, I mean, do you find uh, uh, that productivity is really what's driving a lot of what you're doing in terms of on your vlogs or on your work? I mean, you probably have only so much time. Oh, yeah, yeah. That you I'm have to do. I'm still doing NAB videos, uh, <laughs> and, and here I'm at another event. So, yeah, yeah it, it, it just, takes a lot. Yes. It takes a lot and stacks on top of it. Well, this is really, this is like your work drive. Yeah. This is the drive that you're, playing back, you know, your 4K to 8K files, you're you're rendering off this, you're taking your existing hardware, it could be a, you know, 2013 MacBook Pro, it could be a Mac Pro for that matter, and you're able to integrate this into your existing system, and now it's like having a new system, instead of having to go out and purchase a new, more powerful system in order to get that performance. So, okay. very inexpensive, very, very, I guess performance oriented, but cost effective okay. uh, machinery. What I tell a lot of my uh, studios and, and uh, clients is this is a five year drive. This is a drive that as the connections get faster, you can take this drive and keep changing out the enclosures or the chassis or as they, cause it's a PCIe based system, not a SATA system. Yeah. So the reusability of this is, is measured in years as opposed to getting a hard drive. It's good for like one or two years, maybe a job. It's Firewire 800 and now you can't use it anymore, yeah, you know? Yeah. And, it, and you're not gonna remove that drive. Absolutely. So taking this, you can carry all these, you could have, a RAID, a 12 bay RAID worth of speed in one disc. Imagine if you could RAID that in, in this type of situation. That Ludicrous like, speed. Oh yeah. Ludicrous. Your, your laptop wouldn't be able to handle. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, you're limited by, by uh, what you're connected to, but absolutely, you're totally yeah. right. It, just having, you could have two of these, one, one, one writing and one reading, and now you have that full speed through the entire thing, and then, if you're using a, uh, an Apple product, or even some of the uh, the PC uh, PC laptops, like a Razer or something like that, where you have an external enclosure with a graphics card, yeah. now your graphics card isn't starved by data, okay, just waiting yeah. waiting for that data to come in. It's getting it right from the NVMe, going right to that graphics processor. 
untold amount of you know productivity and performance you know yeah. for that given system so that's great and of course that's that's for gaming and of course Kingston yeah. has yeah. HyperX, which is all Ooh, about the gaming as well. Yeah. We could get into that, but I want to check out this rig since we're cool. here at Cinegear. Come we'll check do it out. more on the HyperX. Don't worry about <laughs> that. So let's go. And of course, everybody wants to get into this HyperX chair, which is sitting right here. So let's do, <laughs> let's check this out and then uh, and then come back and yeah. cool. We'll get we'll get a photo in the chair. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's your gaming throne. Okay. Perfect. Cool. Let's do it. Let's come on over. Okay. Well, this isn't going to be a cinematographer's dream on the camera that I'm using because I'll try my best on this, but it might be their dream to be seeing what Dane's got here. So tell us, uh, uh, tell us what we got. Well, uh, in this brave new world that we're living in, we want to have the ability to do 8K, but more importantly, to be able to uh, watch 4K on set, be able to, to QC everything that we're doing in both SDR, which is standard dynamic range, and HDR, which is high dynamic range. So uh, company, streaming companies uh, are looking for HDR to be kind of their next wave of cinema experience, especially at home, but uh, really the, the next stage of what's possible. And HDR reacts very much like our eyes naturally. We see a large amount of detail, information, color, et cetera, et cetera. So, what uh, I've done uh, in with Kingston here, uh, a little bit of HyperX as well. As you can notice, these these fantastic HyperX keyboard uh, with our keyboard gaming throne. You see with our with the HyperX uh, Pulse Fire uh, keyboard. All this stuff is meant for gamers. It's really meant to be fast and quick and and as uh, performance oriented as possible for a gamer, but also for production people for as well. Everybody, yeah. everybody, I mean, everybody, consume, all the way down to the consumer, all the way up to the most pro pro. But what I've designed here along with Kingston is a uh, live grading HDR system. So I have actually a Flanders uh, DM250, which can have a little trouble. It's very bright out and yeah. sunny. I, I love this thing right here. It's so tough, yeah. Touching screen will damage wallet. <laughs> yep, that's, uh, I don't touch. yeah, don't touch, but you can tell someone touched. Yeah. Uh, anyways. Uh, what we have here is a uh, AJA, uh, AJA and Palm Fort uh, collaborated to create a live grading system that we could use on set. So we're getting the Keslo Alexa large format camera coming out one single cable of 4K, which is unprecedented. Typically, it would have been two to four cables to do the same thing. Now wow. it's one oh, really? going into the uh, FSHDR here. And then we also have an analyzer to add to make sure everything's all nice and freshly exposed. But the important thing is it has the Colorfront engine. And yeah. Colorfront, they're known for being a uh, color science uh, software company. They do a lot of our dailies and processing for motion picture in all formats, 1080, okay. 4K, et cetera. But probably the best thing here is this beautiful HDR mastering quality monitor made by Flanders Scientific, who was gracious enough to to give it uh, give us one for our show. But as you can tell, between the standard dynamic range monitor versus the HDR monitor, wow. we yeah. can actually we're stepping down a little bit. But you can see we can see the detail in full value here without having to adjust our monitor to uh, be able to see the image on there. We can see it very nicely and easily uh, here on the cart. And it, it just helps uh, cinematographers, directors, producers, clients, talent, everyone who wants to look at that HDR uh, signal live on set. That doesn't want to have to get under a hood or anything like yeah. that. Yeah, well traditionally we, this would have been like two carts. It okay. would have been just one cart full of these nor uh, standard professional OLED monitors, and then another cart with a couple of these on there. Okay. But these are extremely expensive and, and very uh, very few of them are made. So okay. that's pretty much uh, kind of the system. And then we have a couple other uh, support cameras we support, the Sony Venice, uh, the Alexa Airy cameras. And then uh, we have Kingston for some of their SSD recording. If uh, you're recording traditional, uh, to 4K or 1080 to these SSDs. So it's quite, 
Do they what? do? Does that do dual recording? Or? Yes, this will do a dual redundant recording. It's actually a Black Magic recorder, okay. but uh, it's a dual uh, recorder. So you can you could record two simultaneously for added redundancy, or say you know you pull one and that goes to your archive, and then the other one maybe goes to your editor. Okay. So you you have the ability to be twice as productive, but also it's a great archival uh, standard for okay. you know making copies of one single event. That's awesome. So it's it's pretty amazing. Uh, I, I don't think it's uh, really been a, a kind of a, an interesting, it's been an interesting road with HDR and now everyone's kind of adopting it and getting to a point where it's easy for everyone. It's not just something special you need to have or only for viewers. And there's uh, nothing but HDR televisions nowadays. So yeah, that's true. That is if you true. look at it, the consumer is actually driving most of the HDR viewing and uh, we love it and lo hope more people can actually enjoy it, but really more professionals can feel like they have something that they can rely on. So here's our, uh, this is the Helios 3S uh, with our Kingston NVMe uh, inside of it that's being used as a shuttle drive to go to post-production. And then uh, what we have here is actually a very fun, very special uh, system call, called the Hackintosh. It's actually <laughs> a PC computer that can run Mac OS S software. Yeah. Now don't tell Apple that we're doing this, but oh, uh, but they might already know. Anyways, so uh, what a Hackintosh allows uh, someone in the uh, production and post-production world to do, or for the you know Geekazine followers, is it allows us to work in both Mac and PC. I have several boot disks that are Kingston NVMe inside, okay. as well as uh, two Kingston uh, disks, much like our U.2s in here to do all of our processing, all of our transcoding, all of our playback, everything to showcase those 4K, 8K files and, and just allow us without anything choking up to present it to uh, to the clientele or to your the other professionals or yourself if you're in your room but here's the best part okay it also is a gaming computer <laughs> so uh for any of you you know want to play or into gaming and have your favorite game you can have your gaming pc as well as your production hackintosh kind of as an all-in-one so is there, it's is there pretty a specific amazing. reason why you need to have Mac? Uh, yes. Is there one one thing that you just can't live without? Or Ye unfor uh, yes, uh, I, the, what I can't live without really is uh, the translatability of Mac files versus uh, what PC can do. Uh, traditionally, the motion picture industry is Mac based up front because we've used a lot of their products to, for data management and for for color and for onset. Uh, processing. So uh, I just kind of took it one step further and said I want my PC computer to also uh, have the capability of running all the Mac tools. So if I ever get sick or anyone else um, on my team needs to come in and uh, work that I'm and they've never touched a PC in their life that they can get right on the Mac side and just go. Okay. There's no there's no uh, exchange. But if I need brute force performance, especially for virtual reality or some of those, you know, 20k deliverables i need to have a pc to just crank it out so it looks like you have a synology here which uh you know it's, it's like a, a little nas a little ssd nas it's not part yeah. of the system right no no but it's nice it's able to serve a lot of uh some of the cloud the local cloud tools that me we may want to use uh it's also a nice archive it talks to a couple of our other systems wirelessly as well as connected through um, the, the Hackintosh. And um, it allows us to just uh, have a little bit more expandability on, uh, on set or at home or wherever we may be. Okay. And then of course, the most important part of this whole cart, well, besides the wheels, <laughs> the cup holder. Yeah. I love so these, cups. these are awesome. Cup yes, holders. these yeah. are actually here. I'll show you one of these over here. This is uh, this is the uh, the Ditwit Edition Robo Cup. As you can see, it's nice and bright and orange. Yeah. And this is uh, a Ditwit. This is a group that we're a part of uh, that provides uh, education and training and just overall uh, ability to kind of complain and moan. It's just Ditwit's a great group uh, community of of uh, about 250 
uh, other production folk, digital imaging technicians, yeah. production technology people, uh, vendors, stuff like that, who just want to get on there and talk about stuff and share ideas. Awesome. And then uh, the Kingston head, is that on your card all the yes, time? Yes, it's it's actually my, my therapy. <laughs> Squeeze the Kingston head. <laughs> when I need, I'm having a tough day at work and okay. you're just like, you know, want to take out a little anger and <laughs> you can throw it in anyone. It's nice and soft. Yeah. Mm. So you sleep with them and everything like that. Exactly. In all told, what, what do you think? What do you think that the total price of this card is? Let's, let's do a little price right now. Well, if we're talking total price right here, uh, ooh man, we're 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 up there. Uh, the the monitor's fifty thousand. It's about ten ten thousand. This is twenty five. Uh, the NVMe, very cost effective, nine hundred nine hundred for the three point eight terabyte and about eighteen hundred for the 7.6, which is about eight terabytes. Yeah, depending on what the uh, what the memory rates are. Exactly, whatever you need. I mean, if you need a couple sticks of eight terabytes, it just makes a lot of sense. But I would I would firmly put this somewhere uh, about $175,000 oh, or so. Crazy. But this is a, the absolute tip top state of the industry cart. That's, what, that's really why we built it, to be state of the industry in every way possible from end to end, from camera to deliverable. All right. There we go, the full card. All right, you've achieved it. Uh, I like to tell people, uh, if you're a gamer, this is uh, all of the, you steal all the keyboards and all the uh, mouses from all of the your victims that you've essentially beaten or across, but Jeff is actually hoping that uh, he can incorporate this into his post pipeline and be able to do email Absolutely. and and transcoding and talking and doing everything. So I'll give these back to you. Oh yeah, cool. Before you walk away with it, <laughs> it's too easy. They're so small. <laughs> super easy. They're so small. <laughs> All so, right, where, where do people, where do people, don't sit, oh, sit down, okay, okay, cool. Where do people go to find you, first of all? Uh, well, for, uh, to find me personally, uh, you can either find me on IMDB or you can find me at Cinegrol.tech. Uh, that's my website, but uh, we collaborate extensively with uh, Kingston and HyperX and uh, make sure, you know, all those gamers and, and uh, production people are uh, well stocked and got what they need. Okay, perfect. And then, cool. of course, Kingston, where do we go? Kingston.com. Oh, yep, or uh, HyperXGaming.com, I believe. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, cool. HyperXGaming.com, I gotta type that, that in too. Yeah, yeah, type And of course, you can go to geekazine.com, youtube.com forward slash geekazine. Come sit in the HyperX Gamers of Thrones. Keyboard Throne, keyboard Gaming keyboard, Throne. Gaming of Keyboard Throning, Throning things, so. Uh, awesome. Thanks a lot, Dane. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Jack. Great, great gear, and, and that's, that's just amazing what we can do with All technology. Right. Unbelievable. That's awesome. Unbelievable. So. All right. Well, you can find everything over at Geekazine, youtube.com forward slash Geekazine. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment. We got to get out of here because these people want to sit in the chair and they're trying to get on the camera. You want to get on camera? Come on in. Come on in. Come on, Guillermo. Come on, Guillermo. Come on, you switch chair. with me. Have a, have, a, have a seat. You are king of the Iron HyperX throne. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. All right, check everything out at Geekazine. What was your name, Guillermo? Guillermo. Everybody say hi to Guillermo. Okay, you guys geek out.